SAP Business Objects Planning and Consolidation, version for the Microsoft platform. Using the Starter Kit for Capital Planning to improve your capital planning process. In this demo, you'll see how the Starter Kit for Capital Planning enables you to create capital plans that are aligned with strategic objectives, streamline requests and approvals for capital project and capital asset requests, monitor performance of capital investments, and analyze results. The Starter Kit includes dashboards created using SAP Business Objects Excelsius, licensed separately to easily view and interact with information. In this example, I'm the Director of Financial Planning and Analysis responsible for managing the capital planning process at a large car manufacturer. Looking at the chart in the upper right corner, I can see that we're planning on investing heavily in two strategic objectives, increasing sales of hybrid cars and developing an all-electric car. But we may be underinvesting in the third strategic objective, becoming a world safety leader. Failure to sufficiently invest in this objective could have major consequences, including reduced sales, high recall costs, and a damaged reputation. I also need to understand current capital planning expenditures against the budget for the current period. In this chart, the blue bar represents our actual and forecast spending for the current year. The gold bar represents our current budget for the capital plan. I can see that our current forecasted project spending is actually below budget. This insight, along with insight into our strategic plan, will influence the direction I provide to project managers involved in capital planning. In this example, I'm a project manager working on a project related to our strategic initiative of becoming a world safety leader. The project is called Build a New Collision Warning System. A business process flow guides me as I update a project asset request form for this project. According to the Finance Department, funds are available earlier for this large multi-year initiative. So I update our business plan using simple standard Excel functions. I move spending from year 2012 to 2011. And as I do this, the financial metrics at the bottom of the report update instantly, specifically IRR and payback period. After I complete the updates, I send the data to the database. I now update a smaller, shorter-term spending item or capital asset request to purchase test equipment. This equipment is needed to execute on the prior project to build a new collision warning system. Once again, I simply want to move my plan spending earlier, from year 2012 to 2011. As you can see, the starter kit, in conjunction with SAP Business Objects Planning and Consolidation, makes this easy to do. In this example, I'm a senior project manager responsible for reviewing and approving capital requests. To begin the approval process for the asset request described previously, I look at the approval input schedule. Using the starter kit for capital planning, we've already defined different approval flows for requests of different dollar amounts. Because of my security profile, I can see and approve all pending capital expenditure requests across the organization. Before approving capital planning for the new blind spot collision system project, I click on the folder icon next to the project name and view relevant details. I can instantly see that the spending dates for this project have been updated and now begin earlier. To approve this project, I simply click on the check and send the data. I can also access a wide range of reports for different types of users. In this case, I look at a capital summary report for the approved project focused on integrating a blind spot collision warning system, and I can see all related capital asset requests. Looking at the pie chart, I can quickly see the status of each request. For example, I can see how much of the available funding for the blind spot collision warning system project has been approved, as well as how much is still pending or awaiting approval. Using the account trend report, my peers in finance can understand how the proposed capital spending will affect the income statement. Looking ahead to 2011, the first report shows the projected depreciation expense on existing assets, which are represented by the corporate input rows. 
The report also shows the projected depreciation expense of all the capital asset requests that have been approved in the current capital planning process. In this case, we can see the depreciation expense of the two capital asset requests for our safety initiative project. I can also view the strategic objective report, which links me to the dashboard shown at the beginning of this demo. This report shows our capital spending by each strategic objective. I can see that, due to the actions taken thus far, we've increased spending for the third strategic objective, Become a World Safety Leader, from $500,000 to over $2 million. As you have seen, with SAP Business Objects Planning and Consolidation and the Starter Kit for Capital Planning, you can meet the diverse needs of everyone involved in capital planning, create capital plans that are aligned with strategic objectives, streamline requests and approvals for capital projects and capital asset requests, monitor performance of capital investments, and analyze results.